What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek, and I'm sorry it's been a while since I posted a video on this channel. Um, I've just been busy trying to catch up and maintain my main channel, but also with my surgery that I had a couple weeks ago, or actually a month ago now, on um, my birthday and, and recovering from that, um, I wanted to get at least one thing posted for you guys during the time I was on rest, which was uh, my commentary track, my fan commentary for Resident Evil Retribution. And uh, of course, when I went to play it back, I noticed that there was some skips in the recording, which I've been having some of those problems lately, and, uh, and, and that's been a bummer. I don't know if it's a problem with the software or if it's a problem with the mic or something. So I'm looking into that, but I'll have to re-record that, unfortunately, and, uh, and I'll get that out to you guys pretty soon. I know there's no rush for it, but I just, I, I'll get it out to you guys. And then also there's another video that I have to re-record, which is uh, of me looking over some uh, photos from the live action Resident Evil movie that's coming out in the fall. They did reshoots recently, as, as we know, um, and there's been a couple photos that, uh, you know, to the actors posted uh, that just they don't really show or reveal anything, but I just thought it'd be a fun video to make. So I'll have those two videos coming out like next week for you guys. Uh, but for now, I thought let's just focus on the topical thing, the thing that just got released uh, uh, today, actually, uh, which is information for the new live action Netflix series. So I think they also um, released like uh, the opening scene of the new animated film. So uh, so we'll maybe, I, I don't know if I'm going to talk about that because uh, the animated series, I mean, not the animated film, but the animated series that's coming to Netflix, uh, that's called Infinite Darkness, and that's coming up in like a couple weeks. So I might not talk about that opening scene. It's basically like a Black Hawk Down type opening scene, and it's supposed to set up the plot of the movie. So we'll just wait till the episodes drop and we'll do reviews of the episodes. Uh, so I probably won't do an episode on that. But just so you know, I'll put a link down below if you want to watch the uh, opening of Infinite Darkness. I'll include it in the link down below. And I'll also include two links uh, to articles, one for Variety and one from Deadline, about this information. So uh, let's look at the live-action Resident Evil series coming to Netflix that we... It got ordered like back in August, I think, of last year, and then we didn't really hear much else about it, other than Andrew Dobb was going to be involved, and he is uh, one of the writers, and he was like, you know, producer and stuff on Supernatural, which obviously I'm a big fan of, um, but uh, but I, just because I heard his name, I was still hesitant because the idea for this show is not an idea I really, it doesn't sound appealing to me. Um, and so now that we see the cast... Um, it is a good cast. I'm a, actually a really big fan of Lance Reddick, uh, and I love him in the John Wick movies and, and a lot of the other stuff he's been in, like The Wire and stuff, but he is playing Albert Wesker, and then there's five other cast members that they added. So the photo will go up right there, and you can see that it's a, a cast of uh, five females, one male, um, Ella Belinska, Tamara Smart, Sienna Agudon, um, Adeline Rudolph, or Adeline Rudolph, uh, Paolo Nunez, and then... Um, we have Lance Reddick, and he's going to be playing Albert Wesker. So we don't exactly know who, although we could probably guess maybe from the image, uh, the two younger girls who, like, uh, like one one's wearing platform shoes and the other one looks like she's wearing some kind of fluffy bell bottoms or something. Uh, then there's the girl in the skirt on the right, too. So any of those three, I guess, they could be playing Lance's daughters. We know the plot of this is going to be um, about Albert Wesker, uh, I guess like there's a two timelines. There's like the past where the girls are younger, like in their teen years. And then there's like 15 years later where they're grown up and it's them, uh, you know, I guess the sisters trying to figure out what their dad was really hiding, um, who, how involved was he with the Umbrella Corporation and how the, did the world turn to utter crap? And that's kind of what we know is that uh, it's, you know, Three decades before the story started is the discovery of the T-virus, and then from there the Umbrella Corporation has been working on it, and then at some point there was an outbreak, and now in the future people are coming back, or maybe the girls grew up in a place called New Raccoon City, I don't know. They're making it very clear that this is an alternate reality, um, obviously because the casting, like, you know, Wesker in the video games and in the stuff we've seen so far is usually portrayed by um, a white guy, you know, because that's who the character's portrayed as in the game. But in this one, they wanted to go a different route, obviously. And you know me, I'm never against them going a different route with the casting of characters. But my thing is always, as long as they act like the characters, because yes, you can put a different spin on Wesker to an extent, but there's still some core things that have to be there and those core things don't necessarily have to be him working for Umbrella and him being a scientist and having secrets uh, those are part of his character but you know his mannerisms the way he speaks the way he acts the way he looks down on humanity the way he looks uh, down on his employers the way he betrays them like all of these things are characteristics of Albert Wesker 
and he's not a, a family man. Uh, he's not out there trying to build a surrogate family. He has a son who he doesn't even know exists or pay attention to. If he does know he exists uh, in Jake, and so he's not like that. You know, the idea of a Wesker being the father of two daughters, and that's what the story's revolved around, and it's about the daughters being young. And, uh, and then an outbreak happens, and then 15 years later, the world is overrun by monsters, and, which is just like the movies, and I, I hate the movies, uh, especially the later movies. Um, I don't like them. They're, they're, they're just awful. And, uh, and it's all about, like, oh, the world has, you know, been completely taken over by monsters, and, and it's just, it's an easy excuse to throw in whatever monster they want, and there's nothing really clever about it, whereas the games found at least more clever ways, for the most part, in the earlier games to get what type of monsters are out to the characters and a little bit of description and build up to them and where they come from and how they were designed and what their purpose was and all that stuff. You get more of that in the game. And I'm sure the show will do that to an extent too. I hope it does because it's been ordered for eight one hour episodes. Uh, but the fact that they're taking Wesker and making him a father of two girls and that's kind of the, the thrust of the story that to me doesn't sound like Wesker. Uh, like I said, of course, it's a different take on Wesker, and this is what he would be like if he had two daughters, and you can you could argue it either way, but to me, it's always about the core of the characters, and if they act like themselves, this feels like, hey, let's use the Resident Evil name, let's use the Albert Wesker name, and then let's just do whatever we want with it. And I am vehemently against stuff like that. Um, I don't like that. That is very corporate and very soulless and i don't think uh can you make that work in some capacity maybe could the show still be decent for the kind of show they're going for possibly but to me i don't know and it again it's it's early i admit it's early to say this but this idea does not sound like resident evil to me uh this sounds like someone who saw maybe one or two of the movies and was like oh yeah i can do that and, and then and then they're just doing like their fan fiction version of that um to me lance reddick's a great actor he, he, in in he whether it's the alternate universe or the video game universe i think he could play a good wesker in the way wesker is in the games and stuff but this i guess it i guess we'll have to wait to see a trailer to see if he walks around with his sunglasses on at night, if he's, uh, you know, has a certain speech pattern, um, if he uh, has a certain a series of mannerisms or way about him when he walks, he's very arrogant and pompous at times. He has like this swag, but not like this, um, not like a one that's charismatic that pulls, you know, people in that causes a gaze or anything. I mean, I guess some people might, you know, kind of gaze at him, but typically he's just has this like very machine-like um, kind of presence, and uh, but 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 with a little bit of flair to it, um, and he's got a kind of a thing for the theatrics uh, to some extent, uh, but he's also um, very focused and uh, and doesn't really make time for family and stuff. And and uh, like I said, even in the games, he has a kid named Jake, and he has no part of his life at all. So um, who knows? Maybe this version will have no part in the daughters' lives, and it's the daughters trying to you know connect with their dad, and he's just too far gone, like. Who knows what they're going to do, but either way, I don't, this just doesn't so far sound very Resident Evil to me. It's, and even this picture they show of the cast, they're all just kind of like, yeah, what's up, smiling, you know, like, yeah, we're cool, and and, and have that kind of approach to their, their photo op here. And I know that's just to reveal the cast, it's not really to be indicative of the show, but it's, uh, to me, I'm like, I don't know, first impressions are everything, and this feels like a Grey's Anatomy show based on this picture, and not so much a Resident Evil uh, show. Um, it doesn't seem like there's something lurking behind the walls behind them. Uh, and there's even like an open window back there in darkness, and you could have put like a zombie hand coming through there. You could have done something to show a little bit of horror here, uh, even though it's just a cast reveal, but you could have still been a little bit more creative with it, especially since it's Resident Evil. And this, like I said, just like I even saw a parody where someone put like Resident Evil but in the Friends font from the Friends TV show and I'm like yeah that's what this could be like this looks like it could easily be like a, a Grey's Anatomy type show or some kind of medical drama and not something that's actually like Resident Evil um so I don't know I guess that's yet to be seen and like I said I'm I'm norm normally very um flexible on interpretations and I'm, I'm willing to see where things go but from the moment they announced this I was already iffy about the concept and now hearing a little bit more about the concept and how they're going to tackle it, even though they have a good cast here, it still doesn't feel like Resident Evil. I feel like you didn't have to call him Albert Wesker. 
heck, you could have called him Oswell E. Spencer, and you could have done something with the Spencer character, um, because that guy, is he's a big part of the franchise, but he's barely in any of the games, and we don't know a ton about him. That could have been a better character to do. Or I said, if you wanted to tell a story about two kids trying to undo the sins of their parents, you already have Sherry Birkin and Jake Wesker, and so you already have these two characters that could have, and you could have race bend them or whatever if you wanted to cast a different actor uh, of a different race or something to play them. That's all fine, but I, the characters, you already have these two kids that are team up in Resident Evil 6 that are trying to undo the sins of their parents and stuff. And so there's already that kind of story that exists in the Resident Evil world. And so to do this, that kind of just doesn't look like it paid any attention to any of the games, at least from a concept standpoint, I'm just, it doesn't do anything for me. So I hate to be negative about this, but those are just my thoughts and my reaction. Like I said, the cast, when I saw this photo, I just kind of rolled my eyes at the, at the, the, how bright it is and how, how like everyone's just kind of like, I'm cool and I'm, you know, I'm dressed hip and all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like this doesn't, this doesn't look like it even has a hint of horror to it. And again, I said, it's just a photo op for a variety mag, you know, variety or, or deadline or whoever, you know, got the exclusive on this. It's just a photo for that. I get it. It's a promotional photo, but it still should have a little bit of, you know, hint or be a little indicative of what the show might offer us. Uh, instead, you just see like, you know, a couple of tanks on the back and like a little, uh, uh, you know, power box to their right, uh, like a, you know, big pipe in the background, but you don't see like a blood splatter on the wall. Like I said, you don't see a zombie hand creeping through that window back there. Um, you don't see like a tube in the back, like with a monster in it or nothing like that. Like they weren't creative at all. Like they just rushed together these people, put this photo together, took it in like a, you know, production building somewhere and, uh, and had them all, they spent more time dressing them all to look cool and hip instead of like, you know, sending a message of what type of show this will be. Uh, that's my problem with this is that it, you know, it's Resident Evil. And, and, and I know some people kind of scoff or look down their nose at like this franchise, but I don't. I, I think there's real potential to make cool things with this franchise, even if you do different spins on it or try new things with it. Um, I just don't think this is the direction. And Andrew Dobb, although I'm a big Supernatural fan, a lot of the episodes he's written, he's written like 45 episodes of Supernatural like about, and uh, half of those were like always filler episodes to me. Like I just felt like you could cut a lot of his episodes that he's written, minus some of the stuff in the later seasons where he became more producer and, and got more involved and stuff. He wrote more key episodes. But early on, I'm just like, eh, he, he seemed like a filler episode writer guy, you know? And, uh, and, and him coming up, with constant and films for this idea, you know, who own the rights to Res Evil. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, so yeah, we got a live action movie coming out, which I have hopes for. Um, certainly a lot more hopes than this show. Uh, then we have infinite darkness, the uh, animated series stuff that's coming out soon. So um, I have high hopes for that because the animated stuff has got a good track record of being well, this, I'm not so sure. Like I said, this feels like you know, people that worked on the movies and Andrew Dobb and, and some other people who they'll say they're fans, so they're blue in the face. But to me, um, this, I, I might believe them because this feels like bad fan fiction as opposed to someone who is actually looking at the Resident Evil franchise and finding something new to do with it. This is not new. This is, this sounds like the plot of the movies, but it sounds like you're doing the first Resident Evil movie with Mila Jovovich where it's before the outbreak. And then having flash forwards to like the sixth Resident Evil movie with Mila Jovovich, where monsters just overcome the earth. And those two things sound awful to me. So from a concept standpoint, and nothing against this cast, because I actually think it could be, it's a good cast. I love Lance. Uh, some of these other people, I'm not, they, these ladies here, I'm not too familiar with their work. But I'm sure you could tell a story with these actors in a Resident Evil setting. I just don't think you can tell this story. Uh, but we'll look forward to the day where maybe I put my foot in my mouth or where I just, you know, I, or my mind isn't changed. We'll see. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are down below. Again, I'll have the links to the Variety article and the Deadline article down below. And if you want to watch the first few minutes opening scene of Infinite Darkness, I'll put a link to that down below as well. So thank you so much for spending time with me and talking about this. I made this video a little bit longer. I went on a little bit more of a rant because I've been behind on videos here. But I'll have two more videos coming to you guys next week with the reshoot photos uh, from the live action movie and then also Resident Evil Retribution fan commentary. I'll have that go up next week as well. So thank you so much. See you in the future. Peace.